Now, the Biden administration today announced its plans to expand Title IX sexual assault rules and ensure protection for LGBTQ students and victims. This comes as the nation celebrates 50 years of gender equality in women's sports and education. And as KITV4's Aaron Coogan reports, the long legacy of Hawaii's own Patsy Takemoto Mink. Maui High School grad turned national change maker. Celebrating 50 years since the official passing of the Patsy Mink Equal Opportunity and Education Act, female leaders across the nation uniting in the opportunity to recognize the local girl who forever changed the game of gender equality. A lot of people think of Title IX in terms of athletics, right? Same number of boys sports, same number of girls sports. But I think that's really important to remember the broader context of access, equal access to education that Title IX represents. The landmark piece of legislation passed on June 23, 1972, setting a precedence of empowerment and endless possibility for women throughout the nation. I'm deeply humbled to be able to honor my hero, Representative Patsy Takemoto Mink. Here at home, of course, an especially significant remembrance. Honorary proclamations were declared throughout the islands, and members of the state's executive, legislative, and judicial branches would come together to reflect on the milestones made possible by Mink's advocacy. And not only the spearhead for the Equal Opportunity and Education Act, but serving as a trailblazer in the political world, Mink serving as the very first woman of color in Congress. Patsy Takimoto Mink's effort to overcome racism and discrimination and make Title IX a reality is the reason why I'm standing here proudly looking at all the women here today who are leaders, change makers, and professionals in our community. Birthing legislation that would go on to remain active in the lives of all Americans today, a portrait was unveiled atop Capitol Hill to forever symbolize the strides for equality that Mink so fearlessly fought for. Aaron Coogan, Kiazi before and the news. As Aaron mentioned, a portrait of the late Patsy Meek was unveiled today at the U.S. Capitol. The painting will be displayed as part of a series recognizing members who have increased diversity and representation in the House. Other portraits include Shirley Chisholm, the first African-American woman in Congress, and Florence Kahn, the first 